Hey guys, welcome to California Preaching. Is this true or what? Satan is a punk. Okay guys, I don't know about you, but I am not going to let the advocate, oh, hello. Why do I always do that? The advocate and the, oh my gosh, the advocate and the accuser, the accuser. I am not going to let the accuser accuse me today. I'm not going to let the accuser accuse me of being a woman who's losing her hair. I'm not going to let the accuser be someone who's making me feel like I'm getting old. And, you know, I'm not going to let the accuser make me feel like I am ugh, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? Whatever it is that he's trying to make me think I am. Dumb. Um you know, uh, uninteresting. Yeah. The other day I was like, nobody cares about my YouTube channel anymore. All the views are down. And you know, of course, what was I thinking? Of course, people are going to get bored of me because I'm just, you know, a one, you know, note kind of person. I'm just one note. I'm just flat. <laughs> I was listening to this. I was listening to this. And then who went on to her uh, YouTube channel this morning and realized that she had reached 30K subscribers? 30K, babes. Guys, 30K. I can't believe it. 30K. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, activate. Okay, so I'm in my kitchen. I'm actually about to um, make myself a little breakfast while we talk. I hope that's okay with you. I'm bringing you with me to rinse my heirloom tomato. Sometimes I just like to have, um, oh, hi. Sometimes I just like to have grilled vegetables on toast in the morning with some veganase. I have asparagus, heirloom tomato, and I also have a bell pepper, and I've got my grill go. Oh my goodness, I've got my grill going. Yes, I do. Okay, turn that bad boy down. Turn my fan on, I guess, for a second. All right. So yeah, sometimes I just like to have, you know, grilled veggies. But I woke up this morning and I just said, okay, well, of course I said God of my life because that's how I start my morning. God of my life. I have to give my life to God. We have to surrender our lives to God, you guys. We live unto the Lord and we die unto the Lord. That is just, you know, what we do. We live unto the Lord and we die unto the Lord, period. So he is the Lord over the dead and the living. And you know, when I think about that, of course he is, he rose from the dead. He rose from the dead and he was here before time began. So yes, he is the Lord of the living and the dead. Okay, so I just throw my heirloom tomato. What's better than a grilled tomato? I mean, that was, that's great. That's great. Uh, what's better than a grilled tomato? And I always forget to buy asparagus and I know they give you funny pea smell, but asparagus are really yummy and they're really good for you. And you just got to get over the pea smell. I mean, God bless you. If you're one of the few who doesn't get asparagus pea smell, but I get, I get weird asparagus pea smell. Okay, TMI. Rinsing the asparagus and throwing them immediately onto the grill. Okay, there we go. Isn't that pretty? It's gonna be such a yummy breakfast. All right, so um, back to the holy notes. The Lord means having all authority. Literally, Lord is all authority. So that basically means his lordship is based on his ownership over us. Somebody owns you. Have you ever thought of that? Somebody owns you. God owns you. He created you and he created everything else. There's not like a little signature on the sunset that says, you know, God almighty creator of heaven and earth because he doesn't need to have his signature on it because he owns it. It's his. There's no signature, you know, over 
there's no publishing deal over the birds. You know what I mean? The birds, what they sing, nobody can publish their songs. It, it, they're owned by God. I just find that so fascinating and radical and incredible. And thank you, Jesus, for being Jesus. Okay. I've heard it said that he did not have to put his signature. So that's what I was talking about. I've heard it said that he does not have to put his signature on things. It's done. He, he is the owner of all things. Okay. So I don't know about you. I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm deciding to be possessed today by Jesus. Let's just be possessed by Jesus. Why not? That's a t-shirt. CaliforniaPreaching.com is going to have the I am possessed by Jesus t-shirt. Because if you're going to be possessed by something, make it Jesus. Make it Jesus. All right, we are now chopping, better put you down here, the bell pep. This is a gorgeous bell pepper. I am not into, uh-oh, sticker alert. That's bad. I got to wipe that down. Okay, forget that. Starting here. Okay, um, I'm not into red bell pepper. I know that's crazy. It's not that I won't eat it, but I would choose a yellow or an orange bell pepper over a red one any day of the year. I don't know what it is. I just find it to be much more appetizing. So now I'm gonna throw these guys onto the grill as well. Look how colorful that is. Isn't that pretty? Where's Beckett when I need Beckett? Beckito! Okay. So, back to the holy notes. Okay. <clears throat> so, Jesus is present help in trouble. So, if you're feeling anxiety, or if you're feeling really sad today, or if you're feeling overwhelmed, or if you're feeling just like, what's the point in life today? Just remember that Jesus is our ever present help in trouble, okay? Let us then with confidence, this is Hebrews 4, 14 through 16. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and, fi excuse me, and find grace to help in time of need. Hebrews 4, 14 through 16. So in our time of need, in our time of trouble, we have a savior and a king that is ready to be there at our service at all times, at all times. He, he's never not present. He's always present in our time of need and whenever. He's just 24 seven open door, never closes. When he was hanging on the cross, they said, if you're the Christ, get yourself down off of there. Prove it, prove it to us. Prove it that you're the savior, that you're the Messiah. Get yourself down off of there if you say you are who you say you are. But what did Jesus do? Nada. Crickets, nothing. He said nothing. He just hung there. And you know what he was probably thinking? He was probably thinking, let me tell you something. To rise from the dead in three days on Sunday is going to be a whole lot more effective than getting myself off this cross right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So, um, okay. Oh, really quick. I just wanted to tell you guys this. This is really important. Okay. I am not pimping myself out. Okay. I am not pimping myself out. Usually I have a man jam under my armpits going on. Usually I do. I'm going to be really honest about that because I, I never wear tank tops, so I don't care. And Billy doesn't care. So I usually just grow it out like a seventies woman, but one thing I love to do, oh, one thing I love to do is use deodorant, okay? Because I do stink from time to time. And this is from the beauty counter. Now guys, I know a lot of you are like, oh, beauty counter, I've heard of it. But let me tell you something. I had a son, as you all know, that was diagnosed with stage four cancer, okay? I'm not gonna be promoting or talking about anything unless I really believe in it, and it's clean product. This is clean product, beauty counter, guys. All right, um, you can go to my beauty counter, counter link in my description, and you can, so gross, I'm cooking and putting deodorant on 
just classic. It's just leave it to China to be doing this right now. Okay, I'm gonna do it this way because that's not working too well. I didn't put deodorant on yet today. Um, but this really works. It's not like, you know, you know, a uh, holistic deodorant that, you know, you put on and 10 minutes later you smell again. Um, and then last but not least, I'm, I am focusing on my uh, stuff here. Let's give it a little, let's give it a little saute. I don't like to overcook my veggies, but I also don't like them to be too raw and cold because, you know, you want a little warmth on your on your bread and so that's that okay now um i am oh yeah this okay so this is the lipid oil cleanser from beauty counter guys like i said i'm not trying to pimp myself out i honestly guys i'm gonna squirt some of this in my hand let me just tell you right now you can trust me okay you can trust me i'm telling you this is the best smelling oil and I don't like putting things that are going to strip my skin. People always ask, what do you use? This is what I use. This is what I use. And this oil is so clean. You can rub it on your arms. You can put it on your face and just wipe it right off. I'll do like a whole tutorial. I'm just telling you, beauty counter is where it's at. Beauty counter is where it's at. So you're going to start seeing me doing a little bit of Instagramming for beauty counter because I, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell you something right here, right now. These pages right here have some very important information on them. This you're not gonna believe. Okay, Beauty Counter carefully and thoughtfully sources out every ingredient. Okay, you can, okay, here's what's gonna happen. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go back to my holy notes and then I'm gonna tell you just a couple key things about Beauty Counter and why I love it so much. But, um, Jesus is, my holy notes are going to be uh, available to you too soon, okay? Because everyone's saying like, I want your holy notes. They're becoming available to you soon. Um, Jesus' life's strongest cord. It is unbreakable. It cannot be broken. Jesus Christ of Nazareth's cord, his cord, he is life itself, cannot be broken. So trust in the cord that cannot be broken. You are the branch Jesus is the vine. I am the branch. Jesus is the vine. And it is a vine, guys, that cannot be cut. It is impossible to cut the vine of Jesus Christ. Impossible. His name stands as a cinnamon, cinnamon, as a synonym to free healing, free love, and free salvation. His name stands as a synonym to free healing, free love, and free salvation. So <clears throat> let's just close it in prayer. I'm just gonna do an Instagram beauty counter thing today so that you can just learn more about it on the Instagram, but I'm glad I introduced you to it a little bit this morning. Okay, Father God, Father in heaven, my creator, your creator, Father, thank you for designing me Sorry, that must have been very annoying. Thank you for creating me, Lord. Thank you for creating everyone who's watching this video right now. Thank you, God, for giving us the, the breath in our nostrils, for giving us the beauty that is outside our door. If we just walk outside today, even if it's freezing cold where you are right now, go take a big deep breath and thank God. God for your life. Inhale the air that he created. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for giving us the ability to have an attitude of gratitude today, to go and to experience life to its fullest, because that's what the Bible says, that you want us to be in joy, rejoicing, Father God. Show us how to rejoice today and enjoy this precious life that you have given us, Father God. Show us today how to be radically dependent on you, Jesus, radically dependent on you, and to cast all of our anxiety and depression and fear and whatever it is, financial fear, whether it's fear of a family member being sick or whether it's fear of not knowing what tomorrow will bring, Lord. 
Help us to cast all of our anxiety onto you, Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for showing us that you are the God of our life. We choose you and you chose us. So we thank you, Jesus. We thank you for everything that you're providing for us today. Pour your favor out on us today, Lord, your abundance and your prosperity. Thank you, Lord, for putting the garland, that fragrant garland of peace and love and joy, just adorning our necks with that fragrant garland of love, peace, and joy today, Lord. We thank you and we pray these things in your excellent, mighty name, period. Peace of Christ, amen, amen, 